It's been over 20 years since my father, Al Taketh, died on December 25, 1992. Time, it is said, heals all wounds. True, but it leaves scars. I'm Michael Taketh, an actor, singer, and stand-up comic, as well as the author of several history books, including a biography of Bill Clinton, published by Yale University Press. I'm also the author and performer of a new one-man show, Black Tie, a son's journey through the death and life of his father, directed by Brian Lane Green. Black Tie is a family memoir. It's about ties that bind, ties of family and of place, ties of shared history, and inherited history. Black Tie focuses on my father, but along the way we meet other family members. My immigrant grandmother, whose thick Yiddish accent was no obstacle to her singing old-fashioned American songs. Carry me back to old Virginie. There's where the cotton and the corn and taters grow. Danny, our family's run-to-the-litter English Cocker Spaniel. Every evening, when Dad returned from a long day at the office, the other humans in the household were too busy to pay much notice. But Danny would give Dad the welcome only a dog can. Wow, you're home! It's been so long. It's been 10 hours or a week or a month. I have a poorly developed sense of time. I am a dog. But oh gosh, it's so good to see you. The Torah does not actually contain the phrase sports jacket. <laughs> it appears in the Babylonian Talmud. <laughs> oh! Oh! What was going on? Why did Dad prefer to do without his beverage when all he had to do was accept my gift and enjoy it? I mean, really. He could have had a goddamn V8. <laughs> Black Tie is about love. Love that is no less strong for being unspoken. I do not believe that it is necessarily unmanly or even necessarily unseemly to tell your father that you love him, only that it is unmandatory, that the words are inessential to the act of loving him. Some men lament their father died and they never told him they loved him. I ask, did you spend time with him? Did you talk with him? Did you watch a ball game with him? When he went into the hospital last time, did you visit him? Did you bring him something to eat or drink, something to read? Did you help him in the bathroom? If so, why are the words important? If not, how would they help? The show ends with a conversation my father and I had in the hospital about two weeks before he died. In speaking of his service in World War II, he unwittingly told me something about himself I'd never before known. That afternoon in the hospital, Dad and I took care of unfinished business because I learned that my father, my plodding, cautious, conventional middle-class father, my father who never went without an undershirt, my father in whose desk after he died we found hundreds of used envelopes he'd saved, my father who chose the security of being a company man rather than risk failure trying to do something he'd have loved. My father had once known excitement, had once gloried in his contribution to something bold and dangerous and supremely important. For a few years during the 1940s, my father had been young. <laughs> <laughs>